This is my Prozac. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about my Prozac experience. I have a therapist, and I told my therapist that I wanted to get medication to help with my social anxiety. I was diagnosed with social phobia and major depressive disorder. And so my therapist was like, yeah, sure, we can do that. And so she set me up with a psychiatrist. When you meet with a psychiatrist, you have to do what's called a psych evaluation. They ask you a bunch of questions and you have to answer honestly and they ask you like a lot of different things and some of the questions will be uncomfortable. So I did that and my psychiatrist prescribed me with Prozac. I've taken Prozac before when I was in fifth grade, but I don't remember that much about that time, so I'm just going to talk about this time. I was prescribed 20 milligrams of Prozac and I take it once a day. You can get it in liquid form or capsule form. Yeah. The first few weeks after I started taking the Prozac, here's what happened. First, the side effects. My appetite pretty much completely went away. I never really felt like eating much. I lost some weight. You probably heard that when you start taking Prozac, you lose weight. Yep, it's true. And it's because you lose your appetite. I felt weak a lot. I felt lightheaded a lot. That could have had something to do with the fact that I wasn't eating a lot. I'm the kind of person that can fall asleep pretty quickly, but for the first few weeks after I started taking the Prozac, I couldn't fall asleep. It took me forever to fall asleep. And some nights, I hardly slept at all because when I finally did fall asleep, I would wake up in the middle of the night. With people that I was already comfortable around, um, basically my family, um, I started acting crazy <laughs> around them, like really hyper and talking like a lot and being really loud all the time. Well, not all the time, pretty much just at night. I didn't do that before. And they started noticing that I was acting different. I got this like special power where I can like talk a million miles a minute now, so like, I can talk really fast. I can like talk almost faster than I think sometimes. Yeah, I got really hyper. Now I'm gonna talk about how it affected my depression and then my social anxiety for the first few weeks only. For the first few weeks, I felt the same amount of depression as I had been before I started taking the Prozac. As for my social anxiety, during the first few weeks, I started participating in talking a little bit more, like, school. I was in a few acting classes. I was in a screenwriting and like filmmaking class and then I was in hairspray. It would basically like take me by surprise like I would be in class or something and I would talk without thinking about what I was going to say first. Then I'd realize, hey, I don't usually do that. Maybe it's the Prozac. And then I'd be happy because I just talked without being scared. Jumping to today, 10 months after I started taking the Prozac, Here's how I feel. Side effects. I don't have any side effects right now that I can think of, and I haven't for the last few months. I can pretty much sleep normally. My depression has pretty much gone away for the most part. I still get depressed sometimes, but it's very rare. Okay, so I'm not gonna go too much into like my depression story, but yeah, the Prozac helped with that. Moving on to how it affected my social anxiety, 10 months in, here are the results. I would say it's had an amazing effect on me and I love taking Prozac and yeah, I'm thankful that it's a thing because I really like it and here's why. I get comfortable around new people way faster than I did before. Before I started taking the Prozac, I could spend like months with someone and never really like feel comfortable around them, but now um, I can spend one day with someone or a few hours and just like break out of my shell I guess. Here's an example. I started filming a movie a few weeks ago. We have to be on set for like 12 hours every day and there are like eight other girls my age that are on set and by the end of the first day I felt like I made new friends. And by the end of the second day, I felt like I had new best friends. Yeah, not only do you get to know someone really fast when you spend 12 hours with them, but 
I made it a goal before I started this production to try to make new friends because the last production I was in, I didn't really make friends and I didn't make it a goal to make friends and I pretty much just stuck to myself the whole time. And that goal, so far, has actually been successful. Um, because the first day I was on set, every chance I got, every time I would be sitting somewhere and there would be someone sitting beside me, I would start a conversation with them. I would start the conversation. That's not something I would do a few months ago. Starting conversations is easier for me now, and continuing them. I'm still not that great at long conversations, but I can start them, and I can go up to people now, and it's not as scary as it used to be. So honestly, I can't say I've made any new friends over the past few years, but like just over the past few weeks, um, since I started filming this movie, I've made new friends. And I mean like real friends, like I can talk to these people without, like I can really talk to them. But yeah, I'm making friends again. So that's a really big deal for me. Another thing that Prozac has helped me with is my career. I'm an actress and a singer. I think the Prozac is already helping me be more confident when I go to auditions or when I have to perform on stage or when I have to get to know people on set and I really believe that it's gonna help like it's gonna help my career a lot and I'll like be more successful because of it. I wish I'd started taking the Prozac in high school because my high school experience was I would have been probably a little bit more happier in high school and there are a lot of people that I wanted to talk to but I didn't because I was too scared. Yeah like that. So, Prozac. I like it. Actually, I love it. So I would recommend that you try it if you're thinking about trying it, um, or try something similar to it. Like, it's not the only medicine for social anxiety. That was my Prozac experience. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more episodes of Social Anxiety Confessions. I'll see you guys next time.